so okay we are live that's our sink <laughs> okay um good morning it's bill the knee pain guru show you what i got we're doing here this morning uh we are processing apples i had a um <clears throat> got a, a buddy who had a apple tree that needed to be picked and was giving away the um, well was letting people have the apples so I got on it so here's what I'm doing I got uh, well those are the leftovers of the apples but we're canning apples apple uh, making apple sauce apple butter this morning so the apples are cooking down those are the lids Hold on a second here Whoa. Those are the jars boiling. And those are the cans we did last night. A little bit of it. And then over here, we're taking the leftovers from the apples. And I got a couple of batches of apple cider vinegar going. So that's kind of cool. Anyhow, that kind of stuff, it... Um, really ties in with knee pain <laughs> sounds kind of strange but it does because every uh, there's purpose to everything there is connection with everything and today we're going to talk about um we got a question here from what andy bones hold on a second here this was around a breaking down scar tissue manipulation under anesthesia video I did a while ago. Uh, Andy says, I just had manipulation under anesthesia. I still can't bend it. Please explain. And consequently, this is, um, this is where the nervous system comes into play in terms of the pain that you're feeling in your knee. The only reason you have pain in the knee is because there are tiny little nerves the width of an eyelash being squeezed uh, sending a signal to your brain that you have pain and the the tighter those nerves squeeze the more difficult it is to bend your knee uh, a lot of times it's blamed on buildup of scar tissue a lot of times it's blamed on your legs aren't strong enough However, the more you try to break down the scar tissue by bending your knee, the more you try to exercise, the worse the knee pain gets, and you end up on a downward spiral. So there is another element going on that is taking out of, it's taken out of the equation when we do a manipulation under anesthesia. Manipulation under anesthesia takes a lot of the nervous system out of that equation, meaning, um, the nervous system is what gives the signals to all of the parts of our body, uh, whether we can extend the leg, bend the leg, tension in the muscles, the tendons, the ligaments, fluid fascia, everything takes its instructions from the nervous system. And when we have a manipulation under anesthesia, that nervous system or the electrical system is taken out of the equation while you're under anesthesia. But the moment you come back to, the nervous system comes back online and those tension patterns that are displayed in the nervous system that physically manifest in the body come back online too. <laughs> and when that happens, it makes it difficult to bend the knee, like the pattern hasn't changed. Uh, so, that is, you know, to, to address Andy's question, he still can't bend the knee. It's because in a manipulation under anesthesia, the body isn't addressed on a deep enough level. We have to address the pattern that's going on in the neurology. There is not only a physical component when it comes to pain or inability to bend the knee, but also a mental and emotional component as well. So unless those are addressed, you're gonna end up with the same situation as you had before. I saw a question come in. I'm gonna get to that in just a second. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe to the channel. 
uh, the Knee Pain Guru YouTube channel. Turn on notifications for future videos as I do these a couple times a week. Um, actually, I've been doing them daily. How about that? Um, let's see what else. Okay, we got we a question here. It was from says Marion. Help! I can't bend my knee. Feels like knots in my knee. Um, did you have an injury? That that that's a big piece. It's important whenever you move forward when any with any sort of when you move forward with any sort of knee strategy, holistic or otherwise, you have to know what you're dealing with first, which means you go to the doctor, you get a diagnosis to make sure nothing's broken or torn in the knee. Um, and what that does is that determines your strategy, what you want to do. That gives you the information you need to move forward. If you don't have that information, what ends up happening is it's um, we're kind of groping in the dark in terms of how to how to get you out of pain because sometimes when you're in pain the strategy is to have some sort of medical intervention that will address what's going on um, and then once that's addressed once that's addressed for for instance I had um, tore my ACL a ligament in my left knee I tore two pieces of meniscus um, to get to where I am right now without the surgery would be a completely different situation or scenario. Um, I don't believe I could have gotten there without the surgery. The surgery enabled me to work with a mechanically sound knee and move forward from there. So without that diagnosis, without that understanding of what's going on in the knee, we're kind of left um, not really understanding how to move forward. So, when we look at Marion's question, we need more information in order to move forward. Now, um, if this information sounds good, besides subscribing to the channel and giving it a thumbs up, so is it worth getting a manipulation under anesthesia? Um, it's gonna depend on what you have going on. If you um, are looking at it from a completely medical perspective, that's gonna be your strategy. However, if you look at it holistically, um, probably not. <laughs> uh, there, there is, uh, going under anesthesia is like a medical procedure and it runs its risks and you have to look at that and talk about that with your doctor. Uh, however, would you go for a manipulation under anesthesia if you can get the full range of motion in your knee with creating comfort in it? So a lot of times, if we ask better questions, we get better answers. So most people wouldn't do a manipulation under anesthesia to increase range of motion in the knee if they knew another way existed that would get them out of pain. Most people wouldn't go for a total knee replacement if they knew another strategy existed to get their knee out of pain. Um, most people wouldn't go for a surgery if the doctor can't find out what's going on as anything being wrong in their knee if their knee wasn't in pain. So we have to look at what is the outcome that you want. If you want the range of motion to increase, then the question is, can you do that without, um, can you increase the range of motion without doing a manipulation under anesthesia? Yes, absolutely. I've seen it hundreds of times. Can you, get the knee out of pain without doing prescription drugs, pain killing shots, exploratory surgery, and painful physical therapy. Absolutely. I've seen that thousands of times. So it's, it's all around asking better questions.
that help your um, did that help your get uh, get your question answered there, M. Flores? So, okay, well, we're gonna get back to making some applesauce and canning applesauce. Um, make sure to give the video a thumbs up, like, and subscribe to the channel, the Knee Pain Guru YouTube channel. Turn on notifications for future videos. And uh, you want to know next steps. This is very important. Your next steps are head on over to the kneepainguru.com website. Get on the newsletter list. Watch a video on the home page. That's going to lead you to the ability to sign up for a coaching program that I have called Knee Club. It's in a phenomenal program. It'll get you out of pain as long as nothing is broken or torn in your knee. Period. End of story. Okie doke, Bill Paravano, the knee pain guru, going to sign off for today. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you tomorrow.